Hi, Julia Watts here. Thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel. So today we're going to be creating um, a background that was taught to me by my good friend Sue Wilson many years ago called the Faux Linen Background. I've been revisiting quite a few of uh, Sue's background techniques just recently because um, they, they are absolutely brilliant and it's nice to... Um, you know go back to some of the older techniques because they're, they're you know they're just as valid but we've got new stamps to play with and so we can give them a different look so um let's crack on and let's uh show you how it's done now starting off with uh, and i'm just using a small a6 piece of uh card here and this is actually a gloss white gloss card from um, Creative Expressions, which you will find on my website, and it is single-sided. And you can use this for um, your alcohol inks as well, uh, but it is you do need to have um, this rather than uh, your regular cardstock for this technique. And I'm going to be using the Fern Leaves stamp set from Fairy Hugs, and we're using this one that looks quite blue, um, and I'm gonna use blue again. Uh, it's just dyed with the ink, it's, it's uh, it's not um, faulty or anything. Um, so we're going to just pop this on a block and I'm going to be using uh, stays on ink and this is the teal blue uh, because stays on dries quite quickly. You could use your archival inks as well but you just need to give them a, a while to dry or to um, heat set them first. But we, because we want to move quite quickly I'm going to use the stays on little ink pads are really cool these little square ones doesn't have to be stamped perfectly and we're going to go off the page a little bit do be careful because it may well slip it's sticking a little bit because this is the first time i've used this stamp for a little while there we go it'll it'll ease up as we go around and the reason why it doesn't have to be perfect is because we are going to be sanding it and so it's going to lose its um it, it, it's kind of completeness if you like that's better isn't it let's get a piece of card a piece of paper actually so i can go off the page and not have a mess to clean up uh, so as it's a permanent ink, stays on you can use the watercolour techniques. It is a solvent based ink, so don't use it with uh, your alcohol markers. So we're getting some good images now. It's when you've got tremendous detail, I'll hold it up when we're finished. different angle on this. Let's go there. And you can clean your block with um, a stays on um, cleaner. And you can also clean your stays as well. Just one more. And go for this way. Okay, so there's our background. I'll just hold it up so you can see the lovely detail in this stamp. You get two um, stamps. On here you've got a smaller leaf as well but it's a little bit more open and I wanted to use this one so put that to one side as I said stays on ink dries really quickly so hopefully we're nice and dry yeah nice and dry already then what you want to do is take a piece of um, um, 
sandpaper and uh, this is quite a fine one I don't know how, what the grades are and remember to remove your craft sheet um, you, if you do this on your craft sheet you're going to actually um, take away the surface of the craft sheet and you want to work in like a cross hatch um, pattern I have I've taught this um, at one of the workshops I did to fill a while ago it's not quite 100% dry. So we've got some blue ink there, but that's alright. It doesn't really matter. So I'm just going one way at the moment. Don't go. And then I'm going to turn it 90 degrees, and then I'm going to go this way. So if you think about how linen's like, Look at the weave of linen, it is in like a like cross hatch, which is what we're doing, and you will find it be more worn on the edges in the center. Okay, let's just clean off my clean off the residue, get rid of that, and then we go back to our craft sheet. And then I've chosen um, a Wendy Becky make, make, make Art ink. This is a, a dye ink. This one's called Acorn. And uh, you could use your distress inks, but a dye ink is actually better uh, than a, an oxide. And we're just going to add some ink over the top. It's called Direct Paper. Okay, and then work that ink in. I love the way that it's more distressed on the edges. Let's just clean that up. Obviously, you can dip this card in that if you wanted to. So this is how we've started. So it's not ready yet, but you can see. That we've got a bit of um, a texture going on there in the background and you can obviously see the um, the fern leaves in the background so then we're going to do that sanding technique again so go back to our block and again do it so that you're working in that, that cross hatch Is, I don't think they make these anymore. It's a Tim Holtz um, tool. Um, and it's just really easy to fold. But obviously, you can just use a piece of sandpaper. You don't need a contraption on Okay, so I think that's that's working really nicely. You can see that's looking absolutely fabulous, isn't it? Get rid of that. Now you could, if you wanted to, I don't usually, but you could just use it like that. And that would be a very distressed background, looking absolutely fabulous. But what we're going to do is we're going to bring in our craft sheet again and we're going to apply some more ink. Just to get into the grooves again. So remember this is the acorn and you the Becky ink. And rub that in. And you can get, keep going as many times as you want to. Obviously, the more you do it, the more you're going to lose that stamped image. And the less you do it, the more you, the more you're going to see your image. You could you could knock it back again, and then just not put the ink on top. It, you, you know, the choice is up to you. Um, but we can see. That we've got that lovely distressed background but we've got I mean we've got some little blobs here and there I don't know where those blobs have come from but it gives it an aged look and of course we've got all those kind of edges going on we've even got a little bit that I've um, 
wrapped up just on the edge there and we can fill that in with a bit of ink fill that in with a bit of ink that doesn't want to fill in there but that's fine we can put a sentence over that little bit so that's the faux linen technique as i say you can work at it and you can do as much as you want to but i think it's a really cool background and i did use it on a fairy hugs um project uh, quite a long time ago actually probably two years ago uh, you can see that one's been sanded back an awful lot you can't see m uh, many of the uh, fern leaves in the background it is the same stamp and it is the same color ink that i used in the background but i think i might have used vintage photo uh, distress ink with that um, but it makes a really nice uh, vintage backdrop for that card that's got the it's also got the wild mushrooms and it's got azalea on it and it's got um i think that's the fairy lily just a few of those um the little stamp in that set at the bottom so um i hope you've enjoyed that and uh you'll give it a go and uh you know share it on the fairy hub store um facebook page do ask to join the fairy hub store group we love to see your makes in there so um, please do join and share and uh, you can find lots of lots of in inspiration on there and uh, if you're not already a subscriber do subscribe to my youtube channel there is over a hundred videos in there for you to get some inspiration from and um, thank you very much for watching bye for now